Hey guys, welcome back to the My Player series here on now the Chesnoid Plays channel. Those of you that come across from the Chesnoid Gaming channel, thank you so very much. We've had quite a few hundred of you head over to the second channel now. Of course, this save will continue here for the foreseeable future. It's a decision made just with the YouTube algorithm in mind and starting a new series on the main channel. I want that to be as successful as possible. So my play is still going to come to you every single day. It's just going to be here instead. If that's all right with you, good. Right, moving forward, we had a very big decision to make. Or rather, you had a very big decision to make. Because my future was in your hands. We had a number of options available to us. I'll bring the vote across here. And the options as to where we head next from Cambridge United were either to Genoa, Werder Bremen, Twa, Girona, Brentford or FC Kerbenhaven in Denmark. That was a close vote. It went kind of how I expected it to with regards to the two that were at the top of the vote. Although I wasn't sure whether this eventual winner would be the eventual winner. I don't really need to dwell on it too much because you've already seen the thumbnail and you already know that we're headed to Denmark. FC Copenhagen, thank you very much for all of the votes on that video. 1,795 of you voted. A total of three and a half thousand times, as you can see here. And FC Copenhagen were the winners by nearly a thousand votes to 800. A full five plus percent of the voting clear of anybody else. Brentford were the ones I expected to win. FC Copenhagen are the ones that have won and it's something completely out of left field as you may well be fully aware. So I'm going to go to play modes. I'm going to go to load career and I'm going to have to make sure that I load <laughs> the Copenhagen bid because that's where we're headed. Now we had boosted our overall slightly to get this bid but I'm quite happy to leave myself at 73 moving forward whilst we continue to try and find our feet in our new country. So I need to go to notifications here on this tab and I need to go to the transfer offer. And for £15,000 a week, that's a pay rise from 850 quid. we will be moving to Denmark. Welcome to our new club in the Danish Superliga. Cutscene and everything. The boy is now a player abroad for the first time. We will more than likely play outside of England more often than just this one club. But for the time being, we are in Denmark with, at least initially, Champions League football potentially on the cards. We, of course, I believe, have to qualify for the Champions League. I don't think we go straight into the group stage. I'm pretty sure we have to qualify. It is currently the... Not sure what the date is actually in-game. Let's have a look at the calendar. We might have already been past that date. Uh, no, just pre-season played so far with three straight wins for Copenhagen. So we will be beginning with Vyborg and then Erhus. I apologise about pronunciations. If you're Danish or you speak Danish or you're just aware of how some of these names are pronounced then please do spell them phonetically for me in the comment section down below and uh, I will try and endeavour to get them correct as we progress through. But no news yet about the Champions League. Let's have a look at our standings and it should show if we get to Champions League if we're in it. And we are not. We are not in the Champions League. Last, unless we, there's a Champions League round post this. You can see Midtjylland are in there against Club Bruges. But we appear to not be in the Champions League this year. Although we are top of the domestic seat, uh, domestic uh, calendar. So those three games actually that we just saw on the calendar were actually league games, not a pre-season tournament. They are league games in July. Starting very early in Denmark on the 16th. Now then, can we have a look at other competitions, team stats, and let's see if we're in any of... If it registers us. Yeah, we are in the Champions League. So we must be in around a little bit later on. Now, you already know what the squad hub looks like because we showed you it in the last video. I'll give you a brief recollection. We are going to be second choice striker behind Cornelius, but obviously aiming to take that first team spot away from him. Kaufman and Babakar and Karamoka and Oskarsson, not expecting them to threaten our starting spot at all. We will be one of the highest rated players at the club but there is a 
31-year-old Matthew Ryan in goal for us. Then Rasmus Falk is in the central midfield position. We do have a young Grabara as well. So two good goalkeepers, which is good news. And a number of 75 and 74 rated players, meaning that hopefully we can be competitive at least in the Champions League. Myself there, though, still having the potential to be special. But as we progress towards the next game, we have some activities here that we can do. Meet with former teammates. We can go and do that. That's going to earn us 50 heartbeat points. I'm going to read a book by a club legend. Unfortunately, I don't know any FC Copenhagen club legends. If you are a Copenhagen fan and you are aware of, well, you will be aware of who your club legends are, then let me know who they are. Uh, managerial poor performance. Uh, that's carried over from our last job, or last job. I've just been playing football manager. From our last. Uh, club, I'm sure, and request the wage increase. I can do that, but obviously I'm now on a much higher wage, so that needs to update. Uh, I can afford to probably buy, or will be able to afford to buy all of these very, very shortly, of course, now earning 15 grand a week. So we're going to blast our way through the shopping. We won't do it all at once, but certainly we'll be able to afford most things quite quickly. First up for this, for us then, in this save, will be... A substitute appearance against Vyborg away from home. Currently top of the table in Denmark in the Superliga. Can we keep it that way? Please do show this video some love. Drop the video a like if you're enjoying this save and if you've come across from the second or from the main channel. And do let me know in the comments section. I'd love to say thank you to some of you that have come across from the main channel. I appreciate it very much indeed. Hopefully this save can do just as well here as it did on the Chesnoy Gaming channel. And it'll be a great business decision from me and both channels can flourish there is of course football manager content continually on this channel as well as on stream i stream all of my content live recording so follow the link in the description make sure you subscribe to here as well and you won't miss any of the journeyman save which has been tumultuous thus far up and down has been our uh, form as a manager hopefully only on the up will be our form as a player so then, first game against Fireball, you can see that Copenhagen played £13.1 million for me in the most recent transfer window. £13.1 million! I didn't really think I was worth that much. We've been able to earn ourselves fifteen grand a week now, rather than the £850 we were on. And we're going to be coming on at striker for Cornelius with 10 minutes to go against Vyborg with a 1-0 lead through Amu. Now, of course... They play a 4-5-1, we believe, here at Copenhagen. That's what they played last year. That's what we anticipate they're playing this year. As we head in, we should be a sole striker. As we were at Cambridge, really. That was in a 4-2-3-1. This is in a straight 4-5-1, so a flatter midfield. Uh, we'll go for dribble success. I've only got 10 minutes. We'll try and get what we can here. But we are going to be... The sh one of the strongest two or three sides in the league. So certainly, we should have ourselves a title battle on our hands this season. That is the hope. That's the aim. That's what you guys anticipate. Lon White gives that away. And my first touch as a Copenhagen player, I'm nailed as I get rid of it. I'm not my number nine as I might well be. I'm going to try and earn that number nine. So I'm number 28 here as I was at Cambridge. But as my career progresses and as we cement ourselves in the starting lineup here at Copenhagen, where's that going? Did it take a deflection or did it not? No, it didn't. It was just rubbish. All right. I'm going to try and earn the number nine shirt if I can. I don't know who else might have that number nine shirt or number 10 shirt here at FC Copenhagen. As you well know, I get the number 10 on the back of all of my uh, shirts now that I buy for my main channel content. But. There's an offside in there. So I don't know whether to... Let me know in the comments, actually. Should I, what shirt number should I aim for being the main striker or challenging for main striker here at Copenhagen? Should I go for the number nine or should I go for my preferred number 10? I would say that is my preferred number. I'll wait and see what you guys say. I move into me. I've got support here. Oh, Falk's played the one, two. Oh, and so very nearly a debut goal with moments to go here. I could even perhaps have tried to get it back to him, but I think the number three might have cut it out. So very close. See what live chat reckons with regards to my number as well. But you guys on YouTube will have the final say, of course. Five minutes to go then here on debut. We'll have three games per episode, of course, especially whilst we're in the substitute position, so to speak. Because games won't be as long. So we'll get as many highlights to you as we can. But I'll stop my waffling unless there's something to bring to you that's actually relevant with regards to the game of football that's going on. 
Goal scorer Amu into Falk. Forward to me. Oh, that was good, wasn't it, Chez? Trying to get it all the way out wide. Should have played it through the air. Here's Thompson. Are we going to concede an equaliser because I've given the ball away? Not going to earn yourself a start by doing that, are you, Chez? Handwerker wins it back. Clareson forward into me. He's gone again there, Clareson. Oh, lift this. Looking for him. Is there enough weight on it? There is. He's got there. He's found me as well. And look at Falk in the middle. An assist on debut. No! Why is he slid for it? Rasmus! What are you doing, pal? He obviously isn't convinced that he's going to get there ahead of the defender. You need to be better, please, mate. That could have been an assist for me on debut, and I would have surely gotten the 6.5 I need to improve my manager rating. We're going to get the dribble success, but I think I've played relatively well enough here to maintain my manager rating or manager favour, despite not getting the 6.5 at the moment, at least. That the manager wanted of me. I'm on a 6.2 now. Looking to burst through that gap. But that's not quite gone as I'd anticipated it. Not as I saw it in my mind as I burst through that gap, unfortunately. But we are looking like we're going to get the 1-0 win here. Although, Viborg are going to have one final attack. But we've been defensively solid so far, he says. And we continue to be. I'll just give that back. I'm not going to make any sort of lung-busting run. I'm not fast enough. We get a 1-0 win then. That's continually... Four straight victories for Copenhagen at the top of the league table. We are on legendary difficulty continually here, I believe. If you think I should change the difficulty up to ultimate, then do let me know. But at the minute, I'm apprehensive too until we know that we can be competitive as we are right now. There is a new activity. Poor manager performance. That just needs a bug. Needs a bug fix, really, doesn't it? Work on an improvement plan. I'll try that. Let's work on an improvement plan, shall we? Uh... Oh, that was just a straight up do straight away. All right, cheers then. Sit down with the coach to work on an improvement plan. I'm going to train to get my manager of favour back where, relatively close to where it was. And then we'll head to the next game today. At home then against Aarhus. And coming on with almost a full half hour to play. Again at striker for Cornelius. We had a chance in the 10 minutes in that last game. So you'd like to think we can create even more here now. Cornelius is number 14. So there might be a number 10 or 9 available, actually. I will need to check. Five passes in the opponent's half boosted to seven. That's doable, as is the dribble success rate. And certainly a 6.5 match rating as well. This could be a game, provided I can put in a decent performance, that could see us fire ourselves into the starting lineup for the next fixture in only the first episode here at our new club. The manager's just gone ultra attacking. You might not be able to see that because it's behind the face cam. But we are now... Going to be a little bit more forward thinking in this second half. Rather than just seeing how it goes and being a bit balanced, the manager's like, no, no, we want to keep our winning run going. Let's spread that out wide there. This is passes in the opponent's half going really well already. And there's a nice run by, I can't quite see who his name is, Barrero. Need to learn my new teammates' names, don't I? Shot from the edge of the box is a good save by the goalkeeper. Bratvel, I think that said his name was. Certainly going to be learning a lot about Danish football throughout the course of this time here, aren't we? That's not quite coming to me. Falk wins the header and the goalkeeper makes another very good stop. A secondary corner here. Putting the pressure on. We are the home side, so you'd like to think we would be those pushing to try and get the dub more so than anyone else. Clareson, Falk on my left, perhaps. Yes! In! Off the underside of the bar in front of our new adoring fans. FC Copenhagen 1, Erhus nil, and this guy's the one that got the goal. On my left foot, underside of the bar, just over the line, but then bounces back into the roof of the net just to make sure. It's probably my best goal on my left foot so far. Keeper, no chance with that. We're in front. I got the goal in the 69th minute. Make your own jokes. Give me that starting spot, please. Falk into Amu and Barrero, Clearson through that gap. Tell you what, they do commit bodies forward in support of the attack, so we could have an absolute field day in Denmark in front of goal. We've already scored one in just our second appearance. We nearly scored one on our debut, and you can see just how many white shirts are forward here. They're very aggressive in their press as well, leaving a couple of men back, but not a lot. I admire it, certainly, 
Fingers crossed. That's the way that we play all year, because an attack thinking side is going to be one that I can hopefully do really well in. Barrero's in behind here. It's an assist as well. I'm on an 8.7. Welcome to Denmark, guys. Up the Lions. It's 2-0. Housen. Mulatieri. He's held off the defender really well. And fires them back in it. Okay. Okay. It's not going to be all our own way. Was a bit questionable of the goalkeeper. But that's FIFA 23. The strength, though, to hold off the defender is really, really good indeed. But oh, the shot wasn't necessarily that powerful or that well placed. But Mulatieri is making a game of it. 2-1. And it's just as well we got that assist to go with a goal, isn't it? Because they're fighting back here, Erhus. Mulatieri. Pings over the top. Mortensen's in. Are they going to equalise? They're not. Okay. Game on in Denmark. They've given the ball straight back to them there, my teammates. And Madsen could set them up. Mulatieri. Multiple options on either side of him. He just needs to pick the right one. Is Anderson that man? Mulatieri. He might be that man again. He might just drift off offside. He's back again here, Anderson. Mulatieri's there. Options. Only one minute added on. So if they don't score now, we've won the game. Anderson, set it up. Pausen. Anderson, offside. We've won the game. A goal, an assist, three points, and hopefully a start as well for the third game today. We pray anyway. Nordoshland win. What's the win? They win 1 1, is what they do. They draw 1 1. I'm not quite into the starting lineup, but certainly that is going to do us. The champions! Time to make our European debut. I wasn't sure this was going to happen in today's episode. We must then be in some sort of qualification round. Because there's no way the group stage is starting yet in August, is there? So let's have a look at standings. UEFA Champions League. It is the playoff round. So we have Pauk of Greece. They got through against Apoel Nicosia of Cyprus on penalties so in the champions league in the playoff round time to make my european debut from the bench of course at this stage and nil nil half an hour to play at striker i'm glad that he's playing me at striker in every single game let's go and have the same impact on this one as we did the last they want a seven from me this time expecting a little bit more in europe seven passes is what we'll go for one shot on target should hopefully come Throughout the course of the 30-odd minutes we're going to have on the field. It might even come now. Oh, my God. That wasn't on target, but at least it was a shot. Uh, mm. Ultra attacking again. I like this manager. Driving around the outside into Qualiata. I'm going to say Qualiarella then. Good block by the defender. It's going to fall for Brandon. Thankfully for me, is offside. 21 to go. Oh, it wasn't offside. It's a free kick for handball from the shot that was blocked. A free kick for Pauk and a dummy and a goal for our hosts. 1-0 down in the Champions League. Two legs, of course, so the chance to welcome them back to our place before definitively we know whether we will or will not be in the Champions League group stage this season. But we're going to have a task on our hands to do so. We might have had it all our own way in the league so far, but in the Champions League, that's a great free kick. We're going to have some work to do. And around the outside, I've been moved to right striker. So a, pos a position change and a formation change from the manager. But still up top. And the fact that it's right striker leads me to believe that I'm going to have a strike partner up top. Which is good news. Because I'm probably going to need it in this game. Because Pauk have been pretty good. 18 to go. Ball played out wide. Rafa Suarez cuts inside. And he's got plenty of support. Nelson Oliveira tackled. I'll get this quickly out round the corner there to Clareson, who's come back to me. And he's gone again, Clareson. Aye, he was offside even if the ball had found him. Zivkovic closing in on goal. Support on the overlap arriving. Here's Singares. And Neri and 2-0 Pauk. Is the Champions League a step too far for our career at this stage? FC Copenhagen down at the double. Handwerker wins that back. And he's looked for me. I've got support around me. Oh, he's just trying to play that ball, but it's taken off me before I get the chance to play it through. And I balls up an attempted stand tackle as well. This is 
Not great from us, is it, here in the Champions League? Not only are the team 2-0 down, but I'm not playing that well either. I fear that maybe this might be a step too far for our career, but who knows? We'll find out. Decent delivery. Oh, but cleared away. It fell between myself and my teammate. We're going to win possession back, though. Brera Martins tries to dink it. Hit an arm. And... Okay. No advantage played. Cheers, then. Would have loved to free kick there. Don't know if I'm going to be the free kick taker here at Copenhagen. I doubt it. Although I do have decent free kick taking stats. So maybe it's going to be a goal kick or is it going to be a corner? It's going to be a corner. They're looking for a third here. Twitch chat tell me that if we lose this double headed leg in the playoff, we might go into the Europa League or Conference League. I'm not sure how that works. Matthew Ryan makes the save. Perhaps you guys in the comment section can let me know before we get that far. So this will be the last game of the day. In the next episode, we'll hopefully have a second leg in it. And a second leg where, fingers crossed, we can turn around what is almost certainly now going to be a first leg deficit. Dix, come on. I don't know whether it's Dix or Dykes. Braga, Clearson. Oh, I asked for it through the gap. I'm not going to get it. Ha! Ah! Good tackle. Come on. Forward quickly. Forward quickly. Down the line. There's plenty of us inside here. Play the ball. Come on, Handwerker. Whip it. In it comes. On it goes. Goal back. And an assist for the cheese. It's 2-1. We're not out of this yet. We still want Champions League group stage football, please. Not the Europa League. Not the Conference League. Champions League. Come on. We've pulled one back. It's Victor Clairson that gets it. I get the assist as well. Which I'm very pleased with. Unfortunately, my manager rating is or manager favour is still going to drop because I'm not going to get the seven that they wanted from me. Had I needed a 6.5 like we did in the previous two games, I'd have gotten it there with that. My overall play, though, to be fair, hasn't been good enough in this. But to get the assist probably earns me the right to maintain my manager favour rather than just have it drop. I might have not played well. But I still pulled something out the bag. And could we pull something truly spectacular out of the bag? With a last minute equaliser here. I will cross it looking for a teammate. Who buries it. But he's offside. Drama in Europe. He's off. He smashed it into the back of the net. But was offside. No assist for me. And a first leg defeat there. My manager rating will drop, but we will get that back up for the start of the next episode. I can train. I will train now. If you've enjoyed this first episode on the Chesnoy Plays channel, well, technically I guess it's the second because the vote video went live here and the main channel as well, then please do drop the video a like and let me know your feedback in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate your uh, consistent support for this. The same way that you showed support for it on the main channel. That would be absolutely wonderful. I'd love this series, along with the Football Manager stuff, to really kickstart this second channel as well. Because I think if this series gets the support here on the second channel, this is something I'll look to do moving forward next year as well. Main series on the main channel, my player on the second, alongside the Football Manager, the Formula 1, the F1 Manager, etc. So please, show your support for it. I'd appreciate it. And the more you do, the more it'll come to you. That's all for this first one back, episode 26, I think, total. If you want to make sure that you're up to date with the save from everything else, I'll leave a link in the description to the playlist on the main channel where you can watch episodes 1 to 25 over on there if, you want to, if you're new to the series and you want to go and check out what happened last year. For now, though, that's the beginning of season 2. We have already under our belt a goal and two assists. Or is it three assists? Might be three. Uh, squad hub. I think it... Is it just two? No, it is two. Three goal contributions all told. Bloody hell, that's... What a start. What a start. And I should be able to... Ah, Singh. Luther Singh, a 69 rated left wing, has the number nine shirt at the minute. I definitely feel like I could earn that off him. And there is no number 10. So, comment section... Do I take the number 9 off Luther Singh or do I take the free number 10? Let me know and I will do your bidding. That's all for this one. I'll see you next time.